Good morning, Mitch Zumbai here with your Monday morning alert for Monday, July 13th, 2015. Um, what a turnaround we've had in the last 7 to 10 days. Uh, you know, we uh, sat with waterlogged soil for a long time. The soybean crop, pretty yellow, pretty stunted. Uh, I call it nitrogen deficient. When you sit with a waterlogged soil, no oxygen in the soil. It's tough for the nodules to create any nitrogen to make the plant work correctly. Um, now we've been dried out for 7 to 10 days, got some 80 to 85 degree weather, boom, our green, our beans are green. So the beans have really turned the corner. Uh, the only problem, we sat waterlogged for 3 to 4 weeks, so what's that going to do to our disease cycle? Um, I guess we'll wait to see that in 2 to 4 weeks, see whether the diseases flare up, sudden death, or uh, white mold, or, or what we have, but uh, can't stop that right now. So. We'll, watch, we'll continue to watch. Corn fields, uh, probably been tasseling for about a week now. Very few into full tassel, but the last three or four days have really made them explode into, a lot of them into full tassel. Um, you can see we're silking here, tasseling here. Tassel's up telling us, hey, I'm doing something important in here. Um, time for those 55 mile an hour uh, scouting trips to end because we really can't see what's going on from the road in here. Walk in here, uh, I have not seen a lot of Japanese beetles or rootworm beetles. I don't uh, consider a lot of silk feeding to happen uh, right now from what I've seen. But you've got those fields where pretty uneven, tasseling pretty uneven. Uh, that could be a concern where uh, populations start to colonize in one area. So keep an eye on them. Tassel's up telling you I'm doing something important here. Important in here. Go in and check it out. Um, I was in here, it didn't take me long to, to uh, find northern corn leaf blight. Uh, we heard reports of it around. You know, there's three things for uh, disease. We gotta have a, a pathogen, we gotta have an environment, and we gotta have a host. The host is the corn plant. It's here. The pathogen was there last year. A lot of northern corn leaf blight around, so if you had a field that was really bad, uh, go check those first. You know, so that pathogen overwintered in Iowa, and now we had the environment. We had a cool, wet, soggy conditions, enough to splash that on the plant and get it fired up. So if you're looking at uh, fungicide applications, um, go start looking. See if you can find your northern corn leaf blight, gray leaf spot, all the above. It's probably going to be a pretty high uh, disease year, and uh, the, the fly boys are going to be happy because probably going to be flying a lot of acres of fungicide on them. I've heard southern Iowa is just running rampant and uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure you've all have heard from one guy or another that there's a lot of northern corn leaf blight down there. So, have any questions I'll be sending a fungicide response uh, trial sheet along with this. Uh, if you have any questions just let me know. Thanks until we see you again.